Hello, Brentwood High School. I'm Barnett Lee. And I'm Alana Ehrlich. Here's what's making news. WBHS 9's biggest production of the year is tomorrow night, and Calvin Moore is here to tell us what we can expect for the 17th Annual Madison Awards. Thanks, Alana. I'm here in the BPAC where the coveted Madison Awards will take place tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. This is the biggest night of the year for many students in the film program here at BHS, and over 200 people will be here to support their work over the past year. We interviewed some students across different levels about their thoughts on the Madison Awards. <laughs> I'm very excited to see who's going to win, and uh, it's going to be a fun night. Um, I'm looking forward to... Um, winning awards. I probably won't, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm looking forward to my last Madison Awards because I think it's going to be a great opportunity to really show the program and all the parents and all the level ones what we have this year. Level 3s and Level 4s have been preparing and building sets for the awards show for the past few weeks, as well as making level intros for the ceremony. We've been preparing for the ceremony in, in a sense since the beginning of the year. We've all been you know, making videos for the categories to fit the Madison Awards. Um, we've had our Madison Awards project, but the interns specifically have been working on the Madison Awards with our intern period, our hour at the end of the day for a while now. We've been um, making envelopes, we've been planning, making slideshows, making starting the timelines on Premiere. Um, there's just an endless amount of work that goes into it, and it's really important to us that it's wonderful and it's a good night for everybody, so it's been a lot of work. Some of the higher level students in the film program have had some fun memories of the Madison Awards in past years. It was really fun and we did like a medieval theme and it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, my first two Madison Awards, I was pretty much just an observer. I was in the audience, you know, just enjoying it like everyone else. Um, and so my level three year is when I started to get involved in it. Um, I was on the camera crew last year for the Madison Awards. Tomorrow night is the culmination of all the work the students have put in over the last few months, and they are very excited. Yes, I am excited for Madison Awards. Yeah. <coughs> yep, I am. Yeah, I am. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an exciting night that we've been working for for a while. So yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for the Madison Awards. It's my last one, so I hope it's gonna be a good one, and I can't wait. Calvin Moore, WBHS nine. As the year winds down for Brentwood High School, we say goodbye to our seniors. Graduation is coming soon. WBHS 9's Bryson Brees sat down with a few of our graduating seniors to discuss what the future upholds for them. We asked our Brentwood seniors how they felt and if they were excited about graduating. Yes. Uh, yes. I am. I am excited to graduate. Many students have considered their future surrounding college and where they want to go. I'm going to Auburn. I'm going to Tennessee. I'm going to Ole Miss. Every senior has their own memories and reasons why they're going to miss high school. Uh, I've just enjoyed it a lot, hanging out with all my friends and kind of just like the last hurrah here. Um, I'd probably just say like all the friendships I made along the way it was pretty cool. Probably just all my friends and the people I met and the memories I made with my friends. We asked our seniors what piece of advice they would give to our lower classmen, and here are their responses. Probably just get involved as much stuff as possible, just so you can meet people and make connections wherever. I'd probably just say, like, get all your work done and just, you know, have fun while you're here. Just enjoy it. <laughs> As there are only a few weeks left in the school year, we say goodbye to our wonderful Brentwood seniors as they leave behind the memories and adventures of high school to go out into the world to enter into a new adventure for them. Bryson Brees, WBHS 9. AP testing is right around the corner on May 6th. To give more information on best ways to study, Brentwood's AP Human Geography teacher, Clint Finch, tells us using extra study materials can help prepare you for the exam. I think what you need to do is always go back and do as many of the practice tests as you can. Uh, that'll force you to go back and, and continue to review the material that you've already learned and see exactly which material you're really strong at and which material you are weak at. Tests start on May 6th and run from 8 to noon each day. Testing will wrap on on May 17th.
Overall, there are 23 exams, so check with your teachers or counselors for more specific information on dates and times for you. Still to come, Brentwood seniors go on the attack with water guns. And the boys soccer team foresee a record-breaking season once again. Stay tuned for more news after the break. Have you ever had a bad day where you can't carry your books no more and they keep dropping? Well, say goodbye to those bad days and say hello to the good days with BackSmart, the bag with built-in port to charge all your electronic devices. Bag smart, the right way to carry your books. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. The Brentwood boys soccer team is on a mission to repeat last year's state championship win. With a season ending finish of number one in the nation, WBHS 9's Caleb Boylan is here to tell us how the soccer team has been doing so far. I am here on the Broad High School soccer field and for the 2024 spring season, the Broad High School soccer team has been showing some promising results. And as the season comes to a close, players seem hopeful to, to advance to the next day to the playoffs. Man, we've had a really good season so far. Uh, our record as of today is uh, nine wins, no losses, and two ties. And uh, we kind of picked up where we left off last year. Uh, we went undefeated last season, and this year we haven't lost, but we have tied a couple of games. So we're, we're in good shape right now. I've really learned uh, how to work together, and um, yeah, it's just a, a great family. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy playing with uh, all my friends, and uh, yeah, it's a great time. I think it's been a really great season. Uh, I've really enjoyed my time on the team. This is my first year, and I've really enjoyed being part of this team. We continue to keep winning like we have been. Uh, it's just like going to your JV game and trying to be the best teammate you can, support the JV kids, and just like watch them develop. Kayla Boylan, WBHS 9. As the 2024 school year comes to a close, Brentwood's graduating class is continuing to find ways to appreciate their last few months together with a long-standing BHS tradition, Senior Assassins. Senior Assassins is a game the seniors play where anytime, anywhere, they can be ambushed by a fellow student armed with a water gun. Players must have their Snapchat location on at all times. There were two people trailing somebody else in a car, and then they were driving with their mom, and then the mom stopped them, made them get out of the car to apologize, and then when they got out of the car to apologize, the other kid hopped out and shot them. But there was also a kid that got into, they thought it was their target's car, and they were hiding in the back, and it was actually their sibling, and they just got driven to like a random soccer practice. Here's a look at what's coming up in the next few weeks. Final exams are on the horizon. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will test for standard and honors classes from May 20th through the 24th. Seniors who have an A in their class and have no excused absences are exempt from the exams. And graduation comes next. The ceremony is on May 25th at 1 o'clock at Lipscomb University. Outside of BHS, the 2024 Summer Olympics, commonly known as the Tw Paris 2024, are soon to come. Tune in on Peacock and NBC from July 26 and August 11th to see the best of best complete for Olympic gold. Thank you for joining us. I'm Barnett Lee. And I'm Alana Ehrlich. See you next time on WBHS 9. How's your day so far?